Praise God, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, wherever you are. It's a wonderful morning. The Lord has blessed us with. We rejoice and be glad in it because it is a wonderful day. And then, my dear friends, in power to become, I'm talking about say that you are strong. Say that you are strong. If you remember a while back, I did um, a devotion saying that you are stronger than you think. But then you're going to the place of a declaration and a decree that I am strong. Because remember that your quality of life you live will never go above the words that you speak. And your proclamation, your proclamation of faith always determines your strength in the, in the spirit. Because there are many times in life when you go through things and you encounter something and you have to sit back and say, I am strong. I am not weak, I am strong. I am more than able to go through this because of how the Lord is holding my hand. We read the book of Joel chapter 3 verse 10. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. I want you to understand the context of this scripture in the, in the book of Joel. Because of course he's telling them to, to prepare for battle. But look at this. He's telling them, beat your plowshares into swords. And you're pruning hooks into spears. In other words, he's saying that convert that which is in your hand that looks weak. That which you have that looks is of no use. Convert it into a weapon of war. Convert it into a weapon of war. Why? Because you are strong. Don't look at what you have and undermine yourself. Don't look at where you are and undermine yourself. Don't look at what you're going through and undermine yourself. My brothers and sisters, it is important for us as sons and daughters of the, of the Most High God to be able to declare in confidence that we are strong, that we are more than able to overcome. Because if I look at my hand and I say, oh, the only thing I have is a plow shake. The only thing I have is a rake. The only thing I have is a slasher, you know. And you're going for war. I must look at and think that this does not disqualify me as a strong person. I can convert whatever is in my life if God is with me then anything of weakness in my life can be converted into strength. So when I say today, declare, I am strong. I'm simply saying this. Look at the area of weakness in your life. Look at the thing that makes you feel you're at a disadvantage and declare the strength of God on that thing. Let God transform it. Let God renew it. Let God mold it. But it may have the right power in your hands to do the wonderful work of God. My friends, we're in a season and in a time where we want the Lord to manifest His glory and we all want the Lord to do for us wonderful things. But also we have to declare that we are not going to be defeated. We have to declare that no matter our disadvantage, because God is on our side, we, have, we, we are going to fight. Because God is on our side, we are, not going to we are not going to accept defeat. We are not going to act as though we are defeated. We are going to act as though we are winning because God is on our side. Today we are choosing, in saying I am strong, we are choosing to say no to defeat. We are choosing to say no to despair. We are choosing to say yes, that we will win this war in Jesus' name. Amen. We will pray. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the gift of my brother, my sister, this day, Lord. You are good and your mercy endures forever, Lord, and that is the great thing that, Lord, comes from our relationship with you. For that, I ask you today to give us the strength to declare strength in every aware place of weakness, Lord. Give us, the strength, give us the courage, the, the faith, Lord, to believe that we are strong in areas that, Lord, we actually are seeing defeat. Let us have the courage, Lord, to declare an overturning and, an over, and a changing of situations simply because, Father, you are with us. My Father and my King, I pray for your sons and for this wonderful day, Lord. All those who are in battle, all those who feel disadvantaged, all those who feel as though the odds are stacked up against them. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, may you strengthen their hands May you strengthen their will. May you strengthen their mind. May they declare that they are strong because you have strengthened them. In Jesus' name, in Thanksgiving. Amen. Have a blessed day. Remember, you are strong. That thing that looks useless in the hands of God is absolutely useful. And if your life you think is useless, in the hands of God, it's very useful. Stay blessed. <laughs>